Hello guys, ladies, gentlemen, friends, shavers. Welcome to Jim Will Shave. I trust to find you all well. At least I hope you are. Right, what are we doing today? Again, the thumbnail explains it. Uh, this is one of the original tobacco tallow based soaps. Now, as a lot of us are aware, it's been replaced. They've got rid of the, they've made it vegetal basically, got rid of the uh, tallow. So I'm gonna have, we'll have one half of the face with the original tallow. I shouldn't call it original because this is also called tobacco original. Now this is the, uh, the vegetal base soap, glycerin, no tallow, tallow free, whatever you wanna say. And it comes wrapped in this uh, snazzy little foil. So uh, first of all, Let's see what she smells like. This is a good foil. If you remember the old half ounce tobacco packets, all the old golden, uh, golden Virginia, that type of thing, airtight. Right. That's the foil that comes in. Quite good packaging, I suppose. Scent wise, bear in mind this one's been in this non-airtight jar for over a year now. Okay, I would say the scent on the new formula is slightly stronger. Well, quite a bit stronger actually. But bear in mind, this has been kept in this non-airtight uh, tobacco glass jar for over a year. And this is just out of the packet. It's, yeah, it's stronger and I was going to say it's identical, if you know what I mean, it does have the classic tobacco scent. Uh, we shall see. So the original, on the right hand side of the face will be lathering up with the orange carrot. And the new soap, left hand side of the face, I'll be using the uh, Yarchi Atlantic. Similar brushes, similar knots, synthetics, um, the knots feel the same to me. They feel pretty much identical. So that's what we're going to do today. Razor for today, I haven't used it for a while. It's going to be my aluminium Razor Rock Lupo. Very light, lightweight, three piece razor. Good for traveling. And in here, courtesy of uh, David Cumberth, a Treat Platinum Super Stainless Blade made in Pakistan. So I'll just wet the whiskers. And it could be lengthy this because it's all about comparing these two soaps, more than shaving I suppose. So let's go with the original. So let the brush. Brushes are dry to start with. Just wetting them. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Approximately fifteen second load. I shall take the remainder, the loose stuff, which is uh, around the pot here, and apply it as a sort of pre shave. Now, I ordered this to that because I thought I was actually ordering the original tallow based, but uh, off Amazon. And uh, sadly, no. So it looks like the world has already run out of a tallow based tobacco. Sadly. Oh, the scent comes alive once you wet it. Let's get cracking. Now I've never just lathered off the side of the face before. So it will be a bit weird. <laughs> Very. Perhaps I should have done this comparison on the dome. More surface area, you see. As you can see, lowers up very quickly. And before we know it, I've got a nice, rich, dense lava. 
and I really don't think I need to add any more lubrication to this. See that? See the peaks? Meringue? Spot on. Just the way I like it with the E-shaves. So that's that side of the face done, obviously, because you can see. Okay. Now let's move on to the uh, the vegan side, the vegetal, the non tallow, whatever you want to call it. I'll be using the oldest shaving bowl in the world here, by hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. It's not looking bad. It's not looking bad at all. In fact, I'd say there was a bit more scent still on the uh, new vegetal base. And as you can see, as I've just rubbed that on there, it's uh, just from loading. That's much denser than the tower was when I. Uh, Rubbed it on with the fingers. So that has surprised me for a straight off the bat. That is definitely a richer, denser lava without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Rinse the hands. And see what we do with the brush. And just like I did with the uh, tallow side, I'll just begin by painting it on. Um, just like the tallow side, I'm not going to apply any more water. Peaky. Not then the uh, hanky merangy bits that I did on the uh, tallow side. Maybe this is maybe the uh, glycerin side will uh, actually take more water. Let's see. Feels identical. Hmm. So she shaves. So razor rock, lupo, aluminium, three piece laser, laser, razor, loaded with a treat, platinum super stainless from Pakistan, courtesy of Mr. Cunliffe. Got the audio off this razor. Now, I'm not going to shave head to head style because we're using the razor to soap. But it really matters. Blade's good as well. I like Indian blades, but this is, let's say, this is Pakistan blade from Pakistan. Move to the other side. So it's all going to be down to residual slickness, I suppose, and skin feel. But at the moment, if someone to sell me, if I were to ask a shop for a, a tallow based tobacco and the uh, sold me. The uh, new vegetal base, I don't think I've noticed. I 
I don't know what to expect, uh, to tell you the truth. But myself, like a lot of you fellas out there, were gutted when we heard that the bass was changing. If you're a tallow soap fan, one of your favourite soaps, well, it's changed. <laughs> Blade Super. Thank you, Mr. David Cunliffe. You know, you have so many blades and uh, you get to a point where you, <laughs> you really can't buy anymore because you're not even getting around to using the ones you have in stock yourself. So you don't try them out. So uh, very much appreciated. Right, let's see what our slipping feels like here. Hmm. Not a lot in it actually, but I would say that the new vegetal soap is just a slightly slicker. Slightly slicker. So they've both got equal amounts of water. So back to the original side. What a scent. And to the vegetal side. You can see the whiteness that's been left on the skin. Slickness. Hmm. And to make this even, I'm just going to spray over that. Looking pretty similar. Yeah, pretty similar. And we're going for the cross the green. Great little razor, this, this aluminium razor rock. I just had to have the stainless steel version which, when it came out. But I think I like this one more as a shave of. Even though I'm a stainless steel fan. And a cross again. Such a unique cut and feel to the loop Didn't like it when I first bought it. Got it in Spain. And up to that point, it was the lightest razor I've ever used. And I don't think I had the right blade in it to do it any favours. But, uh, hmm. Got used to the lightness, the weight. Um, tried a few more blades, sought the advice of guys on the shaving forums who owned a Lupo, the aluminium one. They put me right, and uh, yeah, I love it now. It's a very good razor. Now, the lava wasn't completely rinsing off the razor then, but I can't blame either of the soaps there, obviously. Yeah, this is just going to be purely down to skin feel, I think. Little stubborn buggers down there, right down by the collar line. Easy to miss, so easy to miss. Let's 
slip my sister there in abundance. And then uh, so it's that little weeper. I thought I felt something go there. Yeah. It's really hard to call on the slickness. It's uh Yeah, think of it's a little spot there again. Again, spotty Jim. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more sense off the uh, new formula. It's really hitting home now. It's as clear as daylight. There's definitely a stronger sense coming from the new vegetal base. But as I say, you do have to bear in mind that. Uh, It's just starting to dissipate a little there. You do have to bear in mind. This feels smoother going on. So you do have to bear in mind, I'll say again, I keep repeating myself, that the uh, original the tallow based tobacco has been exposed for over 12 months. No problem against the nose. It's a good blade. Very good. Usual cozy weepers. The angle of this leaf of it will really you can feel it hooking the hairs. Stop sweating that blood around. Oh as you can see, I'm in my uh, home den. For one night only. Back on the travels again tomorrow. And across the grain down here. Against grain rather. Okay, drying out a little bit here. But I didn't want uh, to add any more water because I wanted to keep things equal. All of our board and ship shape. Okay, the blade's struggling a bit with my stubborn struggle. But we got it, we got it. Get that, get that off. I was in Liverpool the other night, in a hotel, Liverpool Docks, Brunswick Dock to be precise, and I thought, great. I'll do a shave from here. I'd only forgotten uh, my stuff, hadn't I? So I was left with a boot shave stick and uh, a shavette. Now, as I'd already done two straight ray two straight razor shaves previously, but no, they won't want to see another one. Right, rinse off, verdict. Okay, the slickness, it's equal. It's taken equally as long to rinse off the slicknesses on both sides. Is that a word, slicknesses? Dry off and 
see what that's like. Yeah, so back down to the uh, south coast of England tomorrow. Well, the weather's going to be, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good this week. It's, uh, it's all the season coming to a close now, sadly. Well, hopefully, uh, come winter, I'll be doing ski trips to the French Alps, Italian Alps, Austrian Alps, whatever part of the Alps you want to send me to. I'll go. Right. I expected that post shea feel on both sides is exactly the same. Yeah, why not? For all you Marmite shavers out there, Marmite, you'll either love it or eat it. And I love it. I love it. Okay, so there we go. That's my comparison. Uh, okay, so you saw what we were doing. The original tallow based tobacco and the head to head against the vegetal uh, based tobacco. Now, I was one of those guys who was gutted when I heard what was happening. When the base was changing vegetal, we were going to lose the tallow base. A lot of us were, there was a lot of guys commented on it. But uh, nothing to worry about in my opinion, nothing to worry about whatsoever. I say the scent was slightly stronger on the new vegetal formula. But, but again, you've got to bear in mind that my tallow soap had been in that non-airtight container, the traditional tobacco glass jar for over 12 months, over 12 months. But uh, there we have it. So the vegetal base found it slightly stronger than the tallow base, but I say that could just be down to age. The uh, larva performance, the larva capability, exactly the same, exactly the same. Uh, the shave was the same and the post shave feel on both sides of the face are the same. So people like me who were panicking, maybe we were panicking on duty, no need. Stop bleeding, weeper. <laughs> so yeah, I think wouldn't nothing to worry about whatsoever. That vegetal base, it's all right. It's uh, yeah, it's as good as the tallow base. So quick, quickly run through the original tobacco versus the new tobacco vegetal base. The Lupo aluminium razor. Razor Rock Rupo, loaded with a three platinum super stainless. And finished off with, of course, the tobacco aftershave splash. And there we have it. Okay. Hope you found that informative. Hope you found it useful if you're one of the people like me who's thinking, oh no, no. No need to worry. Okay. See you further down the line, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye bye now.